Good morning. I've got a lot of cool things happening today and I thought I would just bring you along and catch you up with me. So welcome and good morning. Okay, so until we can get um, our new furniture and all those things, we just simply moved what we had around just to give us a different view. My son put his um, little hunting thing there just because he likes that and that's that's fine with me. We have some pillows in the back. Hmm. But basically, we just gave this space a tiny uh, switcheroo. <laughs> Just until, again, we can get our new stuff here. The piano just stayed because it's so heavy and I have to wipe it because some of my candles spilled. My goals of today is to fix my desk area because it's like where I make stuff for the farmer's market, my farmer's market stuff at the bottom, um, homeschool stuff, my planner stickers, and I need to um, take care of those little bins that are there. I need to wipe off my printer and touch it. But overall, the homeschool um, room looks good and cleaned. Some laundry going here. Hey, you guys can, I don't know if you've seen it before, but the flower farm is over that way. Let's see if I can make it bigger so that you can see some of the flowers over there. And um, we're getting the shed cleaned out. Everything has been cut. We moved the playset so that it's closer to the house. That's with our regular garden. And the project of today is they are getting the pool up and running. You can see there's some flowers by the porch and got the porch um, cleansed off. So I'm feeling good. Okay, so here's a really quick lunch. We have some olives and salsa and some organic corn and beans and some multigrain tortilla chips, romaine lettuce with some plant-based grounds because we are plant-based, um, some tomatoes, and we have some avocado. And if we need to, we can have some fruit as well. But it's going to be a quick um, get up today because I am still finishing up cleaning my area and then of course I can't ever just do what I said I'm going to do and let it be it I have to go overboard and do extra so then I was cleaning out my drawers and organizing that <laughs> oh my goodness but the kids are almost done um with the pool in fact they're done with the pool they just have to fill it up so let me get this lunch on the stove okay so I typically only use half a bag that way it stretches because we don't need that much and I decided to use this peach uh, mango and chipotle because it is bigger Got your crumbles, got your salsa, got your corn, got your beans. So the snack is still out here. But what I want to show you guys is look, we got the pool up. So the kids are really excited about that. Right. so Lonnie just wiped the table and now Papa is setting it up and we're getting the stuff loaded so we got the lettuce on there all right the spread keeps continuing so I got a little snack here a little dessert type thing just a little bit but I'm mixing crushed pineapples with this um, coconut yogurt with a little bit of granola into the bowl and the kids can have that and then once we're done we can wash these washcloths and rags but it looks like and man does it taste absolutely amazing so while i was out getting the grocery order i decided to go ahead and grab four of these um containers so that I could kind of isolate them for my kitties. I'll share more on that later. And I went ahead and just got some canvases. Uh, they're not probably not the best quality, but for a dollar, um, I have something that I want to do with the kids. So I grabbed four for them and one for me. Okay, so I got my groceries. And the truth is I have a return. I bought some shorts. I never wear shorts, but I bought some shorts. So we're on a trip and I couldn't fit them. <laughs> And I was supposed to be returning them, but I am feeling pooped. So I'm going home. For those of you who don't know, I've been having some allergic reactions. And so I had to take medicine to really um, help me out because the reactions were really bad. And so it's just 
got me a little bit tired and so I'm like, you know what? We're not doing no extras. We got the groceries, we went to the Dollar Tree. We're taking our butts home, <sighs> getting that stuff unpacked and um, getting ready for my trip. So I am back with my grocery haul. I had already done my grocery shopping for this week, but I'm about to take um, a trip with my best friend for my birthday. So I wanted to have some things here that would be easy for my family. So I got some bread for um, peanut butter and jelly, something we rarely even eat, but we're gonna eat it now. <laughs> I got some bread for some garlic bread, some sparkling waters, two filled road sausages, got some vegan dogs, got some sweet and spicy, and hickory um, smoked tuna. Have some of these teriyaki noodles, Caesar change, brown rice and quinoa. Got a, a extra large party size cheese lovers lasagna, some raviolis, some spaghettios, some macaroni and cheese, some broccoli, some raisins, some peanut butter over here, some oranges, some palm olive dish soap, dish detergent, some Purex um, laundry detergent, some fish, some vegan tenders. We got two chocolate almond milks, one vanilla almond milk, a cherry Garcia for me. Some more of these um, thigh basil vegetable dumplings and two bags of fries. They were out of the other Alexa, so I had to get um, these, but that's okay because these are a little bit too spicy for my daughter. And this, these are the mugs that I got from the Dollar Tree. So this is a small haul. Again, it's a lot of junky fast food type stuff, but it's definitely cheaper and healthier than fast food. Um, most of it is organic. Um, and again, I'm not gonna be here to, to cook and do the things that I normally do. So when I'm not here, I try to make it easy for them. This did not work quite the way I was planning, but that's okay. Um, I wanted to get the book in here that um, I am gonna be reading to each child or they're gonna be reading to me on just our private time with a little brain teaser um, or something to kind of get their brain moving and thinking. So that's Kalani's. And then Papa, who you guys know already, is infatuated with cats. So I have a cat one for him. I have to add his book. Um, and then we are doing um, Creation to the Greeks. So I just pulled out the one on Africa for Eli. And then um, for Manny, I got this one. It's a mathematics journal topic. And I just felt that that would be um, cool for him. You know, he's already doing his work, so I don't want him to have too much. But I thought that that's good and a great way to get him writing. Not perfect. They don't fit perfect. They don't fit the way I thought before $4. Um, we're going to roll with it. Yeah, I should say, I don't even like plastic in my home. Uh, typically, you'll see that, like, pretty much everything I use is wood. Um, I prefer wood. But um, these to get wood boxes like this would be fairly expensive especially with the lids and um, I'm not close to the availability to get those right now so I'm gonna just try these out and go from there so as you can see it's starting to get dark here I have my camping bag I have my purse ready because I travel light if you have not already subscribed please do me a favor and do that I'm close to 3,000 and if you're not following me over on Instagram I am over there my next videos will be what I'm using for my fourth and sixth grader for math, as well as my homeschool haul. And if you missed a few oldies, I have my favorite um, five school supplies, what I'm using for my second grader, what I'm using for my ninth grader, um, what I'm using for my kindergartner, and what we're using for a group study. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your love and support. Um, I appreciate it. And until next time, blessings.